Hey my pretties, welcome back. So today I am doing another snack video for you guys. Do you remember, I think it was a couple weeks ago, I did the treats, the try treats video, which is this box right here. And they sent me all the treats and I tried them on, on the camera for you guys. Well, we're gonna do that again. I don't know where this box has come from, but because you know they send them from um, all over the world. And so I can't wait to open it. I was gonna cheat and open it and look and see, but I was like, no, I'm gonna wait until I get in front of the camera. Now, before we open it, let me tell you guys, um, in case any of you guys do wanna try this out, because like I always say, it's really cool to get one of these boxes and just do it with your kids or with your partner or whoever you wanna do it. Maybe you guys are having a little gathering or get together and you wanna just do something different out of the box, literally out of the box. <laughs> That was so corny. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys want to try this box, then go ahead and go to their site, which I will link it down below in the description box, um, which will be trytreats.com. And if you use my code, which is pretty and flawed, it'll get you 15% off of your first box. So make sure if you guys want to try this out with the kids or the friends and family to go to the link down below put in my discount code and get your uh, your first box at a discount. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so, okay, I can't tell yet. So it still has the paper and everything on there. Let's go ahead and pop that open. It does, I, I know that this is telling me something, the red and white, I don't know what that's saying, but let's see. Ooh, okay, so it is from, so what does that say? It is from Indonesia. I can't say the rest of it. I know Bali, but it just says Indonesia. Look at that postcard. That is so cute. And then so it tells you a lot about Indonesia before you get into the snacks. Um, if you'd like, I'm gonna leave this right here. You guys can pause the video if you'd like to read that, which is super cool. After that, you'll get a little card and it tells you, look at that, facts about Indonesia. And again, you can pause the video if you like to read all of this. I know it's kind of small, but there you go. And then over here, did you know? Did you know Indonesia is the only place in the world to see kimono dragons in the wild? Okay, so it tells you a lot of little fun facts. And it gives you a recipe on the back. So this one is the Indonesian fried rice. Sounds good. I might have to try that and then it gets into the snacks. They also do this little giveaway um, It's a mystery giveaway so you can rate the snacks at the bottom and then yeah So on this side it tells you what is inside of the box, which I hadn't looked at so let's go ahead I'm not gonna look through this right now. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out So there's a bunch of stuff in here. So let's get into this box Okay so, first thing that I see that's drawing my attention is this Tic Tac Cassava Snack. Oh my, I would pick out the weirdest one <laughs> first. It's called Grilled Beef Flavor. Oh my goodness, you guys, what are these? What are these? Tic Tac Grilled Beef Flavor. Let me see what it says. Grilled Beef Tic Tac is a savory and delicious snack in the shape of round balls, kind of like Tic Tac candy. They have a grilled beef flavor and are made with the finest cassava flour, then seasoned with a unique blend of spices. So all that just said to me is that I'm getting ready to pop some Tic Tac flavored roast beef candies in my mouth. Okay, definitely smells like beef. <laughs> Smells just like beef. Okay, they are not hard like Tic Tacs. Let me see, let me show you guys. They're little round, there they go. You see that? Little round balls. They kind of look like, um, what's that cereal? What's that cereal? Oh, I can't think of it, but the little round balls. I don't know, I can't remember, but that's what it looks like. I th they're not shaped like a Tic Tac, but they are small like Tic Tacs, so. Ooh, let's give this a try. Grilled beef flavor. Mm. Oh my goodness. 
Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Ooh. It's not nasty. I know y'all like, you lying, you lying, girl. You know that's nasty. It's not nasty. Let me tell you guys why I wasn't ready for that and what it tastes like. Okay, grilled beef. That's what it tastes like. So what it was to me right now, I just had to put them back in there because I'm definitely going to get these to the kids to try. But what it, what it tasted like right now was a beef bouillon cube. That's what it was. Like imagine just going in your pantry, taking the bouillon cube, unwrapping that gold paper and just popping that in your mouth. That's what that just tasted like to me. That was a little overwhelming, not nasty. I'm sure it's an acquired taste. Whenever you get treats from around the world is definitely an acquired taste. So I just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> so I wouldn't say they're nasty. It's just like a lot of seasoning. Um, for this to be a snack though, that's kind of kind of odd but then again i guess the last box that i had remember it was the ramen with the sauce and you put it in there and you crunch it up it could kind of taste like the same thing but these are just little round balls so it is what it is with the tic tac ca cassava snack okay let's move on so the next one chocolate wafer bites rich chocolate filling with a flaky outer shell it says wafer bites are bite-sized chocolate filled wafers made with natural ingredients. They are crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. It says for something different, put them in the freezer and enjoy them as a frozen treat. So let's see. Okay, I'd rather have something sweet right now than savory and taste like beef. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the little brown stripe on it. Okay, let's see. Okay, I like those. It's really good. It just tastes like one uh, one of those wafer rolls. What are they called again? You know how we buy them in a the can? The wafer roll and then it's filled with cream or chocolate. That's exactly what that one tastes like. So I do like that one. Next we have some dark chocolate cookie thins right here. And them things is dark, dark chocolate because that picture, they look like they black. <laughs> Not like... Or sort of like an Oreo cookie, but yeah. Okay, what is this? Cookie Thins. Mandy's Chocolate Cookie Thins are made from real cocoa, rich in taste and crunchy in texture. These cookie thins are perfectly complemented with coffee, hot cocoa, or ice cream. And you do get a small little pack. Is there more than one in here? Oh, look. This is what I was saying the last candy tastes like, or the last little things taste like, the little wafer rolls right there. Okay, so I'll have to try that next. Let's see. Yeah, they're definitely black like an Oreo cookie. And it looks like it has like some salt. Oh, it says a sprinkle of sugar. So it does have sugar on the front right there. I thought that was, I don't know why I said salt. <laughs> Hmm. It doesn't, surprisingly, it doesn't have a flavor. It doesn't give me chocolate. You would think that it had like, I don't know, like a really bitter maybe taste. I don't know. This doesn't really taste like, it's not bad, but it doesn't have the flavor that I thought I was going to get. And you don't even really taste the sugar. So these would be a nice little treat. You know what? These would be good with some ice cream. That is, I'm going to save those. I'm going to let the kids try them, but I'm going to try them with some, with some vanilla ice cream. I'm going to break it up, maybe crumble it, maybe, and sprinkle it on my ice cream. So I do like that one. So, okay. What did I say? I was going to jump into the wafer rolls. I think we know what these taste like. Dosetto wafer rolls. It's a European style wafer, crispy and rich chocolate cream filling. Perfect treat for the chocolate lover. I love me some chocolate. I don't like white chocolate. I'm happy they ain't said, yes, they did. Yes, they did. They sent some vanilla something. I was about to say, I'm happy they ain't sent me no white chocolate, but there's something in there. I don't like white chocolate. It'll give me a headache. Okay, so these are just the little wafer rolls. I'm sure we're all familiar with these. Mm-hmm. The inside is nice and creamy. So those are really, really good. Definitely taste just like 
like this one. So this is like a little bite size and this one is the wafer roll. I like both of those. Okay, let's see. You guys remember in the last video I had some, um, oh, I gotta save this one for last. Ooh, 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 let me tell y'all. Hold on, what was I about to say? Remember in the last video I had to try this, the uh, seaweed? Yeah, happy I ain't got no seaweed in here, but I don't know. This one right here might take the place of that seaweed. This said, first it said cheese crackers. So I'm thinking just some cheesy style crackers. But then it says in the corner right here, it says sweet cheese. <sighs> sweet cheese. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cheese crackers are sweet and savory crackers with a crunchy texture. These crackers are halal friendly. Oh, that's good. So it is halal. And they come in individual packs, which make them a, um, convenient to carry on the go. Now, I will say the only thing that is throwing me off is it's saying sweet cheese. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever eaten anything that says sweet cheese. Not even that. I don't even eat cheese Whiz in the can. I don't even do that. And that is exactly what this smell like is cheese whiz. Look at that cracker. So it's a regular cracker, but then on this side, you can see that it's coated with cheese. <sighs> and it smell like cheese whiz. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm a little scared. Oh goodness. Okay. I'm trying to take it in. <laughs> the cracker itself is kind of sweet. It's like a, a wheat cracker. I like the cracker. Surprisingly, the cheese is a thin layer, so it's not so bad. And the cheese is real smooth. Like I like the way it feels when it goes in my mouth. It's this weird ASMR in my mouth. I don't know. But surprisingly it's not nasty and then the cracker has like a little tiny bit of salt so it balances out that um the sweet oh i'm not gonna say that i don't like these i wouldn't go run and buy them like oh y'all i gotta go i'm on the hunt for them jerry cheese crackers with that sweet cheese i'm not gonna be on the hunt for them but if i seen them and or if I had them or I got another box and they was in there, I would eat them. They're not too bad. I can't wait for the kids to try those. <laughs> okay, we are almost done, you guys. So Indonesia has a lot of crackers and a lot of like, yeah, like cracker style uh, treats. This one is a Belgian chocolate flavor cracker right here with some chocolate. Let me see. Okay, this one has a crumbly texture with a vanilla flavor. I think that's what that one says. And I believe it's only, yep, it's only one cracker in here. So you get the one chocolate on that side. See what I mean? They like crackers with the cheese and the, not the cheese, but the chocolate and crackers. So mm, that smells so good. This one is good. It just tastes like a little biscuit with some real real good chocolate on the back okay i like that so we have a few more items okay we have a coffee candy we have this one which is some kind of i don't know i can't even read that i'm gonna have to go to that and then we have some cassava crackers right here and then these little pieces of candy so which one should we jump into oh this one says hot and spicy Let's jump into these. Let me see what this is. Corn stick. Oh, corn stick roasted corn. It's a crunchy, savory roasted corn stick with just the right mix of flavors and a crunch that you need. Experience the taste of buttered roasted corn in an airy snack that melts in your mouth. <laughs> you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's big. Oh, it's big too. Ooh, and it smells just like corn. Oh, there's four of them in here. So you get four 
that come in there this size right here so it's enough to share <laughs> make sure you share oh my goodness it has a little hole in the middle oh it smells just like roasted corn let me see Okay. Woo. That one sent shivers down my body. Um, I can't tell you guys what I think this one tastes like. It tastes, it's, it's crunchy, light, airy, buttery. Has a corn taste to it. Kind of salty, but kind of sweet. It's a lot of things going on on this one. A lot. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I think on a, I'm going to do this one on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give this one maybe like a a 5. Maybe a 5. Not bad, but my taste buds are confused. I'm not sure how to feel about this one. So, yeah. That's another reason why these little treat boxes are always so fun. Because you try all kind of stuff that you may have never seen. So, it's like taking a vacation in your house like oh i went to indonesia and came back with some snacks <laughs> okay i didn't open these without even telling you this is the one that said hot and spicy cassava crackers i've heard of cassava crackers before let me see from west java indonesia and made from a cassava plant it's a savory snack made from a unique plant and flavored with indonesian spices so they look like little corn chips in there. Wow, powerful. The fragrance, I mean the smell of these are very powerful and it said hot and spicy. So luckily I have a cup of juice in front of me because I don't know how hot and spicy these are gonna be, but let's see. Oh, let me get my juice. <laughs> Woo. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> and I like spicy stuff, but that spice was like a... Ooh. I had to switch this juice around in my mouth. That spice crept up on me. When you first bite into the cracker and you first start eating it, it's like it was kind of sweet. Like just a regular corn chip type of feel, but it was a lot crunchier than a corn chip, like a Frito. It was a lot harder than a Frito, but very crunchy. But after you start eating it, that spice that's on there, it sneaks up and it got to the back of my tongue. Oh yeah, they those are spicy. I'm not going to mess with those. Um they're kind of good though like this it's one of those things where it was too spicy but then it's a, it's kind of make you want to grab another one so that's what i'm gonna say about that now these right here i'm not gonna open these are milkitas if you guys been following me for a long time i used to go to a dollar japanese store um called daiso which i haven't been to one in a while um but I used to buy Milkita candies all the time. And they're like these little milky candies. They come in different flavors. This one is vanilla. I used to love, and I do need to go back to Daiso. Because I usually get the ones in the banana flavor. And then they have one that's, um, was it Honeydew? Honeydew. So these are really good. And it's just like a milky like little candy. Let me tell you what it says. It's a light and refreshing candy made from real milk. It's initially hard in texture. They soften up once you start to chew on them. Um, because they're made from real milk, they're also a good source of calcium. So these, I've been eating Milkitas for years. Love, love, love these. But they sent a few of them in here. Just kind of dropped them in the box. So I have a bunch of those. And then the last one is a coffee candy. And it's made from real coffee extract from Indonesia. It says from Indonesia's volcanic coffee bean. It's delicious and it keeps you awake and makes your day. It's going to keep me awake. <laughs> <laughs> let's see because i drink coffee i drink coffee daily and when i don't have my coffee i will possibly grab me a red bull so let's see how this coffee tastes 
It is kind of small. They are individually wrapped. Okay, they are hard. Okay, I ain't gonna make you guys sit here while I eat this whole piece of candy because it's hard and it's gonna take a long time. But what I will say is it tastes like you just poured a black cup of coffee, a coffee fill, a black, you know what I mean, black coffee in a cup, in a mug. You added maybe a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cream and it's still hot. And then you just took your first sip and you, you know that feeling where it's like, like it's just so good. That's what this candy tastes like. These are good. Copico. Copico. See, now I'm going to be on the hunt for these. Because there's mornings that I'm running out. And sometimes I can't lie. Like, coffee is supposed to, like, really just keep give you that energy to wake you up. But sometimes, for me, it's just the smell and the taste of it. So, I'm going to have to find some more of these. Because on them mornings where I'm just running out the door and I don't have time to make me a cup of coffee and I ain't going to Starbucks, I could just put one of these in my mouth this is good this candy is good i'm gonna have to hide these from one of my sons because he like coffee too so that is it you guys let me take this out of my mouth so i can wrap this up for you guys i'm about to eat that as soon as i'm done telling you guys bye <laughs> that candy was good well that was it that was it for this uh treat box and again like i said check down below in the description box i will send, put the link down there for you to go over there if you guys are interested in trying it out get 15 percent off your first box by using pretty and flawed and um yeah let me know if you guys are gonna try it it'll be something fun i know the kids are going back to school but it'll be fun to do this like with the kids maybe on the weekend or whatever or just send it to somebody a friend like as a gag gift like you know you got a friend you don't know what to get them for their birthday or something just send them a treat box they'll be like girl what you and then they gonna love it because it's something that they ain't never had <laughs> all right you guys that's it let me put these snacks back in this box and let my kids mess around with them and um yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you real soon in my next video okay bye you guys